G'day guys, Rob Chatfield here. In today's screencast, we're going to cover text selection in Sublime Text. I'm just going to do a simple web dev project just to show off some of the cool things you can do in Sublime. So if we wanted to select some text, uh, how can we go about doing it? So the first way, I guess, is using the mouse, uh, mouse or trackpad. Uh, so that's all well and good. You could click right at the start and select some text like this and then uh, type over the top of it if you wanted to, but really, if you're a coder and you're selecting text that way, um, it's never the best way in my personal experience. So that is one way though. We don't wanna ever feel like it's not. So the next, next way to select text, I guess, is to introduce keyboard shortcuts like shift, okay? So if you hold down shift and, and use arrows, I guess, Arrows, <laughs> spell and spell checker shortcuts um, uh, might be important. So holding down shift, I can press left a couple of times. That's really great. I can highlight all that text. Again, it's a little bit slow. You kind of you kind of need to know if you've sped up your keyboard. You can highlight a bit, but I've gone too far. Not the best way, but it's a new way. But at least we're using the keyboard. So the next way I want to do is you still need shift, right? And you still need arrows because you need to know which way you want to highlight. But then we could use the command key, right? So holding down shift and command at the same time, I can, I can press left and it will highlight everything from that cursor to the left. I can hold command shift right and that will highlight where I am all the way to the end of the line. I can go command shift up, which starts from that cursor and goes all the way to the very beginning of the document and command shift down, highlight the rest of the document. Now that's all very well and good, but again, don't really use it. it. This is the other end where it highlights too much text, not not enough text. So now you're probably thinking, Rob, where are you going with this? How, what should I be using? And up until a couple of days ago, I was still doing the shift arrow, but along with option. Now what do I need to do that for? So say I start right here at the end of the line, if I hold shift and option and press left, You'll notice it highlights one whole word. It's not doing one character at a time. It's not doing the extreme all the way to the end or nothing. It's one word at a time. And if I keep pressing arrow, I get all the text. Now this is great. This works in most applications on the Mac unless they've overridden it as they did in uh, Microsoft Word. Uh, good on you guys. But what we, what we love about this is that no matter where I am, I could be right at this word, holding down shift and option, I can hold. I can just highlight those two words, which is pretty cool. So now I said that this is what I've been doing up until a few days ago, and that's because I found out about a package. Uh, let's list all my packages here because I always forget the name of it, which is called Expand Region. Very very cool little package. And what this does is, if I go another list, if I use, I've mapped shift because I feel like it's a it's a shift thing um, it's a command shortcut and I use a so typically command a will select all text nothing new there but if I if I use this new key binding what this will do is depending on the context and what's being highlighted at the time it will select more so it will expand selection as they say so if I go command shift a my cursor was in the middle of uh, command and it highlighted the whole word. Now if I press it again, command shift A, it goes ahead and selects everything up, up until the brackets. Now this is great for if I wanted to change uh, much, much cool. In, in command shift A, I've just been able to select everything inside it and type in and replace what the contents is of those brackets. So I'm doing shift command A. Um, so you press it once, you get the word, you press it twice, you get everything in the brackets, and then you press it again, it gets, including the, the boundary, uh, boundary, you press it again, it gets everything out to the next boundary, you press it again, and again, and again. It's really cool uh, that you can do all of that, all the way up to the most out of boundaries. Now this is great for HTML, uh, because the existing feature there was one where you went shift command space, and as you can see there, it's not particularly useful. Uh, 
you can do this and it would select that and then you press it again and it got that. But if it was a closing bracket, it would decide what it wants, when it wants. So this new feature called Shift Command A using a very cool thing. Uh, what was that package called? Package list. Expand region. So it's expanding the selection um, to the region. It says like expand selection to scope, but better. And I couldn't agree more. Expand, expand region. Cool. So that's, that's all I wanted to show today. Just really cool way to navigate text. Uh, and I hope you like it. If you want me to demo anything else, just let me know and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks very much.